2 News Oklahoma weather. I'm glad he was able to get his birthday wish, get I all of this that. out. Oh. And across the area today, it's been hot. This has just been a steamy weekend. I know. I'm just going to repeat myself, and we're all going to repeat ourselves. It's essentially just very quiet weather, just hot and very humid out there. If you're planning to head out to the lake tomorrow, this is a live look on our Pensacola Dam at Grand Lake. This has been pretty busy um, as people are trying to cool off and stay. Of course, you just got to stay hydrated out there. This is all part of Wade's RV weather camera network. Temperature wise 101 still here in Tulsa, feeling upwards of 110 all across the area. We're at 105 in McAllister. Very copy and pace. I've been talking about it. Um, expect that for tomorrow as we are seeing highs then once again upwards of 103. Any plans this evening? Just very hot and humid for your 7 o'clock hour. Essentially, as we go through the overnight hours, we're tracking very calm conditions, quiet, clear skies and light breeze as well. Temperatures in the low 90s as we go through your 10 o'clock hour. However, sunset, something to point out, is at 8.09. We are essentially just reaching the end of the eight o'clock sunsets. We're just going to start to see that sunset closer to that seven o'clock hour after this. So as we go into tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at 103. Lots of sunshine as well. Grab the sunglasses, the sunscreen if you're trying to cool off once again outdoors. And if you have any yard work to do, as well, it's very important to do that in the morning hours or later in the evening, not in the peak of the heat, especially not during lunchtime. Temperatures 102 for your Monday and the National Weather Service once again has us under an excessive heat warning for tomorrow. This is from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., which is means we could just see heat indices upwards of 115 as a feels like temperature. This is all due to a heat dome. You're going to hear about it all throughout the next few days. It's essentially just continuing to dominate our forecast, which means clear skies, very quiet, hot conditions, and no rain chances for at least the next seven days. We do have Hurricane Hillary that is going to provide a lot of rainfall out towards the west, but that is essentially continuing to keep this heat dome, essentially pushing this heat dome right over our area. And a little bit focused more on Hurricane Hillary. It is still seeing sustained winds of 110, but it will slowly weaken into a tropical storm as we go into tomorrow, pushing into Baja, California, and then Southern California. If you do have family or friends, it's important to keep updated with them, making sure they are getting prepared as they're expecting lots of rainfall. As we go into this remainder of your week, as weekend, I should say, we're looking at 103. Tomorrow, still hot, 102. We're essentially just going to keep those triple digits, but we have a cool front that's going to be moving through the area Friday into Saturday. We maybe drop these temperatures. It's still going to be hot in the 90s. The only difference, though, is what this means is that the heat dome will then push out of our area and it will shift those winds. So we're not going to be dealing with humid conditions as we go into next weekend. And then, as you can see, temperatures will slowly start to drop in those low 90s as we go into next week, Dan.